What's up, y'all? It is another day, another vlog, and I'm starting to vlog off with making Jubilee cupcakes. So, I've been trying to try my hand of making like Queen's Jubilee cupcakes, so I'll show you guys what I mean right now. So, in yesterday's vlog, I said I was going to make these like kind of cupcakes, so I put some cake dough from there into these bowls, put some fruit colouring in, and I'm going to put these into the cupcake cases and make like tie dye cupcakes. Okay, so I've done a bit of experimenting, so here's the tie-dye cupcakes here, kind of. So you can see I kind of like swirled it all about like that. And I'm going to put, so put the red cupcake mix in first and the blue cupcake mix. I'm going to see if it actually does it like that when it comes out of the oven. So I'm going to put these in the oven right now and see if it actually does come out like that, which hopefully it does, because it will actually look really nice if it did. Well, let's just say this was a massive fail. Okay, so I don't know what went wrong there, but oh my god, okay. So let's just say now my oven's full of cake mix, which we have to clean out. And the blue colouring didn't do anything at all, but the red colouring did alright, but the blue colouring just now just looks like really green, normal cake dough. So I think this has been a total bust, if you ask me, but. Um, as long as it tastes nice, then that, I guess that's what matters, but now I'm going to have to clean my oven out now and this baking tray. So yeah, I think, I think it's because I added too much like mixture to it as well, like on this one, I didn't add much mixture to it. And I thought at the time, oh my god, this is not going to cook like a normal cake, like it's going to be really shallow. But so I thought it was actually quite the right mix you need to use, so yeah, because the rest just like, when it cooks in the oven, it literally cooks like lava, like all the dough went everywhere, like lava. Um, so that's that, so yeah. Okay, so I haven't vlogged that much today. Whoa, look at this. Why is my jacket just like you've done that? That is not cute. But yeah, I haven't vlogged that much today um, for a number of reasons actually. Um, but yes, but I didn't show you guys when I reorganised my desk. So this is still a work in progress, but I'm going to show you guys how I reorganised the desk. Because I remember a few vlogs ago, I said I was going to reorganise the desk drawers and make this drawing like the stationary drawing instead of like the black drawers I have over there so I'll show you guys right now. So this is like kind of like a work in progress but I'm going to show you guys anyway so here's my stationary drawer guys like I said it's like a work in progress like I need to get some like containers or something like that to put these like pens in I'm going to get like boxes to organise these pens in so I still need to buy those yet but that's kind of like a rough idea of how I want my stationery to be put in so um, got my tape here. I've used a roll of solid tape to put on my paper clips and all those in there. And the back here is still a bit of a mess. That still needs kind of organising, but um, it kind of looks good actually. So I'm actually really sort of glad that I put on my stationery in there because it'd be much better because I can like literally just like pull it out like that and all my stationery's there. So yeah, go me. And then here, so these drawers were where all my stationery was originally, but I moved them to over the white drawers and so I just put all the rest of my junk and stuff in here but I wouldn't say junk but um stuff Ta -da. so that's kind of how I reorganize my stationery drawer which I actually love like I feel like I'm becoming more organized even though I wouldn't say that because um, I'm not the least what I'm I can't get words out I wouldn't say I'm the most organised person, like, in fact, I'm actually kind of a hot mess. So right now, I'm having one of my gummies, which I have every day. I love these gummies so much. I like vitamin, like, strawberry gummies, all these strawberries. Mixed berry flavour. But I actually love taking these, like, I don't know, just something about it. Like, it tastes really good. Like, it tastes even better than, like, normal sweets I have. So, if I can find, like, a sweet version of these, like, mixed berry um, vitamin gums, then my life will be made like it's just a shame that I can only have this like once a day because you aren't meant to take any more than once a day yeah like I'm not even kidding like this thing's literally the highlight of my day so I thought considering that this vlog's only like a shortish kind of vlog I thought I'd do a favourites kind of thing today so I haven't actually done a favourite in quite a while so I'm going to kind of do it today so the first favourite is which I've been obsessed with is this like fiddly toy kind of so I bought this for my last video where I tested out like Poundland's pocket money toys and honestly this thing's literally been 
the key to my hat ever since. Like, it's just so good. Like, you can literally fiddle with it all over the place. Like, you can do all this, and the possibilities with this thing are just endless. Like, I'll sometimes use this, like, kind of like, if I get, like, really, like, anxiety, like, it's good to kind of soothe that, in a sense. Like, but that's one thing I've been really liking. Oh, my second favourite thing is that yesterday I went to Primark when I went to Liverpool, and I bought this, like, pants that I'm wearing right now, so. Here's what you look like. Yes, please forgive my sock. But, oh my god, okay, so these are like sweatpants, so it's like really comfy, so you can like wear these like kind of around the house-ish. These pants were meant to be like £15 from like Primark, and I originally did think it was £15 because the tag label did say it was £15 when I picked it off these shelves, but then when it went onto the till, it turns out there was a discount on these pants, so instead of it being £15, they were actually £7. I was like, Yes, get that bargain. I'm trying to think what else is my favourite. Um, I think that's it, really. Um, I don't think anything else really has been my most significant favourite. Like, there's things which I like using, but they're not really my favourite kind of thing. Like, I like using them, but they're not really like my significant favourite, if you get what I mean. So, yeah. But right now, I'm going to do a face mask because I've not done face masks in ages. Okay, so I can either use this clay mask or this um, mask. So, I thought this was like an eye mask first, I'm not sure. Ooh, okay. So this is like one of them, so I'm going to use this box of masks because the clay mask is alright, but it doesn't actually even sort of peel off. I like it too, like you have to like properly wash your face to get it off, so I'm going to use this one for now. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, um... This is something, so, turns out it's one of the, like, heated masks, so now my face is, like, really hot, like, my face has practically been warmed up. So you're supposed to leave it for, right about, one minute, so, hopefully this heated mask does something, but it's so greasy, like, oh, what my days. Like, it felt like putting cooking oil in your face, so it didn't feel nice, but, um, hopefully it does something. I'm gonna wash my hands now. Okay, so, it is much later now. And the face mask kind of went off, so um, yeah, the face actually looks really good. I know you haven't seen this light, but I'll show you guys tomorrow or something. But I'm gonna end this vlog here now, guys, because there's nothing else I need to vlog about. I'm just editing my last vlog, as you can see. So, nothing going on really interesting. So, then yeah, I'll see you guys in a vlog. And that's all there is to it, so bye. <laughs>